guys the new and improved anime attire the big reveal oh wait here, here we go here we go check it out look at it fresh as a daisy looking good you see it got the anime up there on the breast side you know what i'm saying on the back you got the fairy tale and then like you got the my hero academia going down the leg you see the logos you know what they are black clover you know we out here pokemon dragon ball on the back we got the the uh uh bleach logos <laughs> i don't i don't remember the group name chill uh yeah and you're probably like cj all you did was really just kind of move around the logos and change the color you didn't really change much here and uh all i gotta say is i learned it from the best anime would not be able to be on raw the very next night and stephanie man would have to be hospitalized for a while after that match that they had at hell in the cell meanwhile tony storm on smackdown would be attacked by charlotte flair and she would have a new challenger for the smackdown live women's championship after successfully defending against oscar in a championship rematch how that will turn out i guess we'll find out at tlc regardless there is a tournament to determine the next number one contender for the raw women's championship anime was offered to go after the nxt championship but she wants the raw women's championship because she wants something she hasn't held before fair enough so she will be facing alexa bliss in the first round ember moon versus ruby riot sasha banks versus bailey ronda rousey versus natalia as you can see all the first round matches and matches throughout the entire tournament will all be regular one-on-one -on -one matches while anime was absent from raw alexa bliss will host a moment of bliss with no guests just talking about how it will be really easy for her to defeat anime since anime won't even be 100 percent when they face each other in the tournament on the next episode of raw so we move to raw and alexa oh my god Wait, we're live? Wait, 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 my bad, my bad. Moving on, Alexa Bliss is the former Raw Women's Champion and former SmackDown Live Women's Champion. She's defeated Becky Lynch before in the past by putting her through a table to become the Raw Women's Champion, even winning a steel cage match, albeit with the help of Mickie James. But we know that she's incredibly cunning and cagey, so maybe she'll have something in store for anime here, or maybe she thinks that her ability alone will be enough to beat her when you consider that anime is not 100%. Yet despite that we've seen multiple times in the past with anime that she is just able to overcome pretty much any obstacle in her way, still pretty much undefeated here in WWE, has yet to lose a singles match and I don't think she's even lost a tag match either. She's that one that ended in no contest but never actually lost a match before. So when considering that, I think it's safe to say that she's probably the ace of the women's division at this point. I mean she's been practically unstoppable. Now, will she be able to beat Alexa Bliss here? I, I think she'll be able to do it. I want to believe that, but we have to see. Top rope here. Super Rana from the top from Anime. Looking to put this one away. Whoa, 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 whoa. She going for the people's elbow? Look at her, okay. Here we go. No. People's Moonsault into the cover, I think. Yes. One. Oh, okay. Well, that's disappointing. That was still pretty cool, though. Not done yet. Oh, went for the roundhouse. Oh, nice dodge by Alexa. Sunset flip, power bomb, pin combo. One, two. That was really close. That was really freaking close. At the back of her head it looked like it almost hit the freaking bottom rope. That's career ending. Whoa, wait a minute! Insult to injury from Alexa doing some big girl damage. Once again, going to another cover here. This one could do it as well. No, just a one. And Alexa can't believe it. I can't believe it. I can't believe she kicked out at one, you know, at least a two. Come on, no no-selling anime. What are you doing? Top rope, Alexa setting up shot. We saw the Super Rana earlier. Perhaps Alexa could try to get some aerial revenge. Got caught, though. Oh, no. Spinning power bomb. One. Are you kidding? Okay. Into the corner. Monkey flip. I like that. I like good old monkey flip. I haven't really seen those from Alexa often, but seeing one now, it's kind of refreshing. Went for the DDT, I think she was trying to go for the kick to the gut to set it up, but it was countered. Leg trap, German suplex, Alexa wisely trying to crawl to the ropes here. Might get a break here, but anime isn't keeping up the pressure. Perhaps trying to catch her breath. Knee to the body, down goes Alexa. In prime position, the lily pad splash. Yes, there it is. That should, one count, 
We're back for commercial break. Anime caught up on the ropes here. Pulled back in. Oh my god, what a DDT. Didn't go for a cover. That's strange. The agility on display. Incredible arm drag. Could go for a pin here. No. She wants another DDT. She wants to guarantee victory here over anime. Kick to the gut. Countered. Sweeps the leg. Moonsault. Beautiful into a cover. Again, one. No. Alexa keeps kicking out at one. Perhaps not enough damage done just yeah. yet. Gonna take her for the ride. Oh my god, what a throw. And now it's time to fly. Anime. Rope. Over the top. Beautiful topic on Hilo. Clothesline again. Trying to mount some incredible offense. Falling drop kick lands perfectly. Now might be the time to put this one to bed. Racing up to the top rope here. Alexa stunned. Or she might be playing possum. I don't know. Yeah. Ah, nailed it perfectly. That should do it, folks. One, two, and anime will go to the next round. Incredible victory for her. Now she has to go and face Ember Moon in the semifinals of this tournament. The finals will take place at TLC as Becky Lynch will not be defending her championship because she is suffering from a stomach injury. The whereabouts of that are currently unknown. But regardless of that, I think this should be an incredible matchup. I mean, similar styles of offense, these two. You know, they got powerful strikes. They got some strength-based offense. They got some aerial offense to their, you know, this is just perfectly even to me, I think. I think this should be a spectacular encounter. And hopefully you guys think so, too. So let's get right into the details of these two. So we know that anime is a former tag team champion. But being stripped of the championships, those championships would be regained by the Iconics in a tournament. A very, very short-lived tournament on the WWE Network. It wasn't many teams of all, four teams at best, and the Iconics would come out victorious. Meanwhile, Anime here trying to get some more gold on her side. She hasn't been a singles champion since NXT, and this is her big opportunity right here. Let's see if she can actually pull it off against Ember Moon, who has yet to become a champion in WWE. She has been the NXT champion, but not on the main roster. She has not won a championship similar to anime, so similar paths as well. But for Ember Moon, she was on the sidelines with an injury for quite some time, able to finally come back. She's been on a roll. Might be a fan favorite to win this one. Might be a dark horse as well. She looked quite impressive against Ruby Raya, able to overcome the odds of facing the entire Riot squad being ringside, constantly interfering. But in the end, Ember Moon would reign supreme. Will she be able to do the same thing here against anime? Let's find out. Got the side headlock applied. As I said, very similar styles. So they're gonna try to do a filling out process here. Excellent counter from Anime. Counter from Ember Moon with the body shot. Kick to the gut, block, spins her around. Oh, what up, roundhouse. Oh, another one. But Ember keeps coming back. Oh, got caught with that unique kick. That was beautiful. Now what? Picks up Ember, trying to finish her off. It's really early here, so she's probably trying to set up a bigger move. That or keep up this fast pace as we've been seeing. They continue to counter one another. And now Anime is forced to conserve some stamina. Gets her up to the top rope. May have wasted too much time. Got caught on the chin with that kick. Sidesteps the Meteora. Beautiful. Now to the second rope. Ember's starting to recover. What is Anime going to do? We haven't seen this before. Spirit Gun. Beautiful. Something she used to use on the independent circuit. Not even a one. What a beautiful crossbody by Amber Moon. That was incredible. Nailed it right on the money. She should be going for a cover here, but instead going to try to focus on the body. Now trying to go for the arm as well. It's very evident to me that Ember has a distinct advantage over anime in terms of experience. And we're seeing that here in this matchup with the timing in between moves. What a beautiful Michinoku driver. But smart move by Ember to roll onto the apron here. Might be able to get a break. The referee's not coming in between them. Therefore, anime will capitalize. Hits a big shoulder tackle. Perhaps being a bit lenient because there's a championship opportunity at stake. Suicide dive. Oh my god. Light speed, dude. Not literally, but she moves incredibly fast. I think anime may have the edge in terms of speed, but in terms of strength, I think that goes to Ember. Just slightly, though, for both of them. Just slightly. Top rope. Might be looking for it here. Oh, I thought she was going to go for the United States of Smash. Doesn't matter. She gets caught. Fall away. Slam. Beautiful. No cover. Unfortunately for Ember, she wouldn't be able to capitalize. 
Anime takes advantage and punishes her in the corner there. In position, might be, oh, I thought she was going to go for the lily pad splash instead, up to the top rope. Went for the airbender, nobody home. Fans on their feet right now. Ember screaming overhand. Oh, devastating clothesline. Another clothesline. Looking like a Becky Lynch comeback. Maybe just trying to, you know, send shots towards the champion there. With that fighting spirit clothesline. Another one. Similar comebacks, but slightly different. Falling. Dropkick. We saw this earlier with Alexa Bliss. Now she's going to go to the top rope. Go for the Suya Splash. Can she actually hit it? And if she does, we know it can win matches. And it might be able to win one here. Nails it. Here we go. One. Two. Oh, man. So close. Ember looking to fire back. Oh, my God. What an elbow. Gets her into position. Hits it. The Eclipse. Anime is out cold. One. Two. And forces her way out. Unbelievable. Not even going for the ropes. Just sheer wherewithal. Dragon soul, but no pin combo. But you saw the way Ember landed on the back of her head there. She may be out of it for good. Into the corner. Anime. Went for a bolt tackle. Ember's still in it, perhaps. Not done yet. Hardy Act arrest. Ooh, that was a stiff pair of boots. Might have knocked the win out of her. Should have gone for a cover, in my opinion. Goes for the rolling elbow again. That gets caught. Countered. Hoisted up. And... Down. With the spirit bomb. Beautiful. Into the cover to move on to the semifinals to face Ronda Rousey to or the finals I should say and she does. I misspoke. That's fine though. An incredible match between these two. We'll look at the replay here I guess. Oh there's no replay. That's weird. Regardless that was still an awesome matchup. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time for the finals at TLC where it will be Ronda Rousey versus anime this is a longer arc by the way this isn't going to be one of the shorter ones where it's just like three episodes i think there might be four or five at best regardless i hope you enjoy it hit the like button if you didn't already and you made it this far appreciate it goodbye